Okay, this is Kagan with Gravity Media Productions. I was the director on this shoot with the interview with Lorraine Warren at her home in Monroe, Connecticut. And this is raw, unedited footage of our trip into her basement where the Warrens have their occult museum. Um, Father Jim, who's a Catholic priest, led us on the tour. And let's take a look at what we see. It's gonna, it's raw footage and it's uh, gonna be rough. Um, Good advice from Heather there. She said not to touch anything. The entire day we were told don't touch anything because the spirits can attach themselves to these objects and then transfer them to you. So don't touch anything. That'll come up because I'm gonna be a little embarrassed here in a little bit. Okay. This is uh, some of Father's, Father Jim's like uh, office area, I believe down here. We're not in the museum yet. This is the hallway to the museum. I believe I promptly hit my head on this doorway, which was good. So we're not actually in the museum yet. Uh, this is the hallway to the museum, but definitely kind of creepy. Uh, very cold, very dark. Heather said she felt the overwhelming need to cry right there. Is this, are we in museum? Land? Yes, we are. Father, would you like to be in front? Mm -hmm. I didn't expect this. Um, Father Jim gets ahead of us and starts doing a prayer before we actually open up the museum doors. Here we go. Uh, I could pretend that I was brave, but at this point, I'm pretty nervous. I didn't know what to expect in here. And I mean, and this is dark, dark, like ISO 1600 dark, uh, wide open. The camera is seeing a little more detail than I could with my eyes. Some of these objects I didn't really see at all. The bride has a slash mark on her throat that I didn't quite notice, but was told later. And if you haven't watched the original interview, um, it's great. Heather did a great job at uh, fearnottv.com. You can watch it there or on this same YouTube channel, the Lorraine Warren, and we speak to Tony and have a, an abridged version of this basement tour down here. Better color corrected. Uh, this is pretty much straight out of the camera which is a Blackmagic cinema camera. Um, Father Jim turned on some kind of music down here and then Annabelle lit up right there. There's a light on Annabelle. Annabelle is much larger than I ever pictured her to be. And that's her.
remember we're told not to touch anything. And I'm not the most steady guy. I'm making a very conscious effort to not touch anything. The devil card there kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, idol I don't remember these uh, seeing these with more light to them very creepy I'm not sure what their story is oh the shadow doll Ed Warren's office was somewhere back there. Like his files, I believe. Okay. That's Ed behind him. That? Yeah. That this window is from a haunted house called the Bomas House. And I put that up, but it's poster. That's beautiful. So he was next to this I think I'm about to bump into something and I get nervous. Um, do you feel comfortable talking about any of the cases? Uh, this, uh, my defense, uh, all day, they said uh, don't touch anything. Buried, uh, or was no. someone used this to sleep I, in? I, a teenager used it, thought that he was a, um, a vampire. He actually did drink blood. But he was, he's hopefully still is in a mental institution. And that's what that, he thought he was a vampire. And the shadow? Shadow doll was bought by a couple who thought it was a, um, a Victorian doll. Um, that night they brought into the home, both of whom had a very frightening nightmare and I had the same nightmare and um, when they talked about it the next day they realized something was wrong they called Ed and Lorraine Ed came came down and they told us to take it out yes and that's how they got that and this um, if I'm not mistaken was the that is the idol satanic idol that was found in Sandy Hook by a hunter walking one day in the more early morning and found that in the, in the niche of rocks. He said he felt very, a lot of pressure around him, he felt very depressed, anger. He said that's just by seeing that. Father, my hip touched that particular <laughs> thing there. Oh, that's a big gargoyle? That's only yeah. 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 That's from yeah. her. Yep, there it was. Okay. But the majority okay. of stuff is in the back. Um, you have a, um, a it was just a gargoyle. At least it was for glass. decoration. Very small so. doll, but it was actually a handsman mm -hmm. use. It's about 150 years old. What is the story with this type of... But that is Mariah. And that is a voodoo uh, uh, or voodoo? That's a voodoo. Yeah. Okay. Right that's, yeah. that's about nice. Like, and then this thing in my head, that like right oh, here. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. And yet I bump into one more thing. Um, but Father says, don't worry about yes, that. Yes, please. That so one freaked me out. Years old, at least 150 years old. And, uh, it's by Haitian. To me, that was the scariest so object in there. 
something from somebody and... What they would do is um, you would uh, take a piece of clothing or something um, from the person. You would wrap a uh, piece of pork or something. Me. Mm -hmm. me, and then put it in proximity of where they live. And as the cursum, and as the um, meat rots, uh, the person begins to take so one to cur the curse, becomes ill. And what is this doll behind here? That's Sanibel. That is... That's the demonic. He said that's Annabelle, that's the demonic. I knew it was Annabelle, I just wanted to hear how Father Jim would describe it. Annabelle was not behind any type. She, I think she was sitting on a shelf at the time. And Annabelle actually jumped off the shelf and approached the priest. Do you know anything about Father... Was it Father um, Gordon? No. no, no. I'm not going to say his name. But, okay, no, it's um, He was an exorcist. He should have known better. But he, um, for some reason, he challenged it. And um, he came to show, came to show I don't know, in his new car. Um, he dropped them off. He's down here. And then he dropped them off. He went back. And he said he was, it was an eternal accident. The whole car was totaled. He just barely came out with losing his life. But he said as he looked into the rearview mirror, he saw the image of the dog. So by our faith, we are protected. Faith, yeah. And faith protects us. To truly not, believing. Uh, you know, whatever, you know, as long as we believe in God and ask for God's help, um, God will protect us from all demonic. He will protect us. Sometimes good people are affected by evil. Yes, they are. That's, that's, you know, the nature of the game, unfortunately. And, but your your trust totally has to be in God, otherwise uh, you're at a loss. Uh, nowadays, people seek uh, the help of, of witchcraft and, and things. I think I'm heading for the door, but probably just trying to get a shot of some other objects in the room. They mentioned how dark it is yet. I would say this is 300% lighter than it was to the eye. I could pretty much just see their flashlight. Satanic cults use steel satanic, steel children's tombstones as altars satanic rites. But the thing about this is, you see, it says Warren. That's Ed's first name. That's really oh his name, Warren Money. I didn't know that. But here, the date of death is August 23rd. That's the day Ed died. Oh Do you have any idea how old this is? Well, yeah, it says 1851. Yeah, 51 or 31. Oh, yeah, that's when the child died. And you have no idea who could have done this? No, I don't know. And how long ago was this? Uh, oh, this was done. We're going to have to still alive. I'm ready. Okay. Thank you so much. Father. Thank you, Father. Very much appreciate your time and doing this. You can take a look. The, the you paintings are. Uh, they are amazing. They are amazing. They're all, they're all amazing. Did you see these? Can we get a little bit of light on one and I'll videotape it? Yeah. Oh, he wanted to. Um, it was really nice of Father Jim to take us down there. It had been a long day for him, and I don't think he was really feeling it at first, but. Uh, actually, a little motion's not bad. He was willing to take us down there. Has anyone ever brought in or found like the necronomica? Does something okay. like that 
Which piece? What are we looking at? Oh. That's the Book of the Dead. Some people have commented on the YouTube, um, the main video about that book. This is a very, um, This picture? Mm -hmm. This picture is a young girl who joined a satanic cult here in Connecticut. These, this is the satanic high priest. Oh my and this was his wife, who was the high priestess. They belonged, she belonged to their cult. When they found out that she was a virgin, they sacrificed her to Satan. When the police came for these two, they never were seen again. Pretty terrifying and creepy story. Why a cardinal? Why a bird? Uh, Something I else. That's what it is. Oh. There's a cardinal in the sign of Ed around here when we see cardinals. I, I, when my father was dying, father, he um, held his hand out and said to my mother, he says, look, look. And my mom said, what is it, John? And he said, it's a bird. Can't you see it? And my, my father always believed that if a bird came to a windowsill, um, it was actually... The soul of another person, or someone who would take someone's soul to bring them to heaven. Yeah, so it's, that's, uh, that's a European, European belief. It's a uh, very, um, uh, I can't believe it. It's a very emotional. It's a very. You know what you want? No. No, no, I'm not going to tell you. Okay, so we're out of the museum, we're in the hallway here. I think I'm pretty excited to be out of the museum. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't watched the, the main interview, please do so. Um, you can watch it on this YouTube channel or head over to heathersfearnottv.com. Thanks again.